Okay, let's get into this grocery haul. Hello, everybody. This church. is your captain. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mariana, but you can call me Mary B. And I am so happy to meet you. <laughs> Y'all, we have a grocery haul. It's been a minute since I've done a separate grocery haul, um, just a separate grocery haul video on my channel. It's been a while, but it was too much for a vlog. So I just decided to do it as a separate video. Hope you guys will enjoy it. This is as you know groceries for one I already have all the basics like rice pasta peas beans and meat already so I didn't have to pick up any of those things so yeah I'll get into I walked with my reusable bags as I always do but I still ended up having to get plastics however the plastics is not a lot this time and I'm so happy about that so um by the way guys i went to extra food supermarket in arima so i'll show you guys everything that i picked up gonna start with, with the first bag actually do i should i start with the plastics and then go through this because it's not a lot of plastics which i'm very happy for um this avocado i picked up right outside of extra foods it was 25 dollars so i have that and then i also you know they always put the eggs separate i'll put the prices for everything on the screen you guys this was this is 12 extra large spring fresh eggs um yeah prices will be on the screen for everything by the way if you guys end up enjoying this video <laughs> please give it a thumbs up and if you guys buy any of the things that i buy then let me know also <laughs> I also picked up this bag of pimentos for $20. It was by the same guy outside of Extra Foods that I bought the avocado. Forgot to tell you guys that. Chef Mate Pure White Distilled Vinegar, one gallon. I use this to clean as well as to season meat or to, yeah, season meat and to wash out meat and stuff. I also picked up this Axion in the lemon scent. This is a dishwashing paste, basically. This is what it looks like. I really love the lemon, lime and lemon ones. Those are the two that I have tried them all. And those are the two that I love the best. And y'all, like, I don't think I could ever go back to dishwashing liquid. I. The paste is hands down the best. You know, some people, they buy SIF as well as the dishwashing liquid, as well as sometimes some other stuff to, that acts as a paste. When you can just buy this, this is like a everything in one. I, I've been using this one for years and love it. Love it. I also picked up, oh, <laughs> I also picked up this Snuggle Extra Large Paper Towel Roll. In this roll, you get 220 two-ply sheets um, on one roll, and each roll is 11 by 8.25 inches. They are pretty big. I've, I already had one of this before, so this is what it looks like. I already had one of this before. That's actually what I have hung in there now. So I just decided to get another one again. Uh, soft and pretty 250 launcher napkins. You know, I feel like I'm showing you the back. Where, can, where is the front? Yeah, there it is. So this is what they look like. We embrace six rolls of toilet tissue. These are really soft, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, really soft. I usually buy um, toilet paper rolls and um, paper towels in bulk, so I never really have to buy in the supermarket, but I decided just to get these for now. So now we're going into one of the reusable bags. And I picked up this New Zealand rennet free so vegetarian cheese. This piece was $24. 
Let me put this in the fridge. Okay. So I also picked up these okros. The price is actually on it. $12.06. They're actually $15 a pound. So I picked up a little under a pound. And I like baking okros whole and getting them to be like crunchy. It's literally the only way that I love to eat okros. Love a crunchy okro. Or oh, that way, or frying them where they're still crunchy. I just love crunchy okros. I don't like the, the slime when they're slimy. I don't like that at all. I also picked up some bananas. They were $5.99 a pound, and I picked up $16.37 worth. Let me just take it out of the bag to show you guys. So basically, I picked up a few half-ripe ones that will take a while to ripe, as well as I picked up these ones that are ready to be used, just three of them, three large ones, so that I will, like tomorrow, I'm gonna cut them up and put them in the freezer to make smoothies. I also picked up a pack of red onions, or purple onions, some people say. A pack of, well, no, I, I hand selected these ones. I like to select my onions on my own, y'all. These were $5.99 a pound. Onions are expensive right now. They're usually like $2.99 a pound and $1.99 a pound and stuff. Now they're $5.99 a pound, but I cannot live without onions in my life. So uh, I picked <laughs> these up. This was $12.28 for the amount that i selected i like picking out my onions my produce my fresh produce i like picking them out myself because i always know like the best ones to get the ones that i like to work with i also picked up two of these eggplants or melanchon as we call it here in trinidad by the way if you are watching this video and you are not from trinidad and tobago i'm all these prices are in Trinidad and Tobago dollars, okay? <laughs> so I, I always forget to make that disclaimer because I always end up in problems in the comment section where people are like, oh my gosh, that's so expensive. But no, it's Trinidad and Tobago dollars, which is equivalent to like 6.5 of our dollars is equivalent to one US dollar. So um, yeah, two of these eggplants, they were $7.99 a pound and I basically picked up two of basically the same size. So basically, like they're like half a pound each basically the both of them and I really wanted to get the skinny ones because um, Eggplant is another thing that I don't like it when it's a uh, Mushy well only when my sister do it mushy. I like that one But apart from the way that my sister do it I like to make them crispy and they taste really nice that way for me So I like to make eggplants and okras crispy and crunchy. So I also picked up this Sunshine Cereals Granola Whole Grain Oats. They're practically, yeah, whole grain oats with crisp rice, sunflower seeds, and raisins and cranberries. And this is what this looks like. Perfect for my yogurts. Okay, so this bag is empty. And I also picked up this Universal Cereals Frosted Flakes. They say that this has eight essential vitamins and iron, but I'm really not sure about that because it just tastes like sugar to me. Probably why I like it, but... <laughs> so, so I try not to eat it very often. But yeah, I picked this up. And this is a small kind of size. This is not a large pack. This is 700 grams or 24.69 ounces. This is what it looks like. We have one more bag to go through. Ooh. I know y'all can already see at the top there. Y'all, extra foods is, well yeah, extra foods is more expensive than hearty foods. However, hearty foods do not have like everything, you know, like a variety. So I picked this up in extra foods usually and in hearty foods, this is $24. But I do believe, the price will be on the screen for this, but I do believe at extra foods, I picked this up, this was like $27 or something like that. So like $3 more than hearty foods. It's not a big difference, but if you're buying like a whole lot, it adds up, you know? Um, anyway, six pack of small term. 
y'all, I haven't had small in a while, in a while. I know you guys keep seeing me buying it, but it's because they finish really fast and I literally tried not to buy it for a while again because I said, okay, I'm overdoing it now, overdoing it. So I just decided to pick it up now, a six pack. I don't know if I'll be buying the case again because that case was finished so fast. My sister asked me, what did I do with that case? I picked up this rich pot pure vegetable oil um, with omega 3 and 6 this is what it looks like this one this is 900 ml by the way y'all I can't find my coconut my cold pressed coconut oil the one that I'm used to buying at all at all so for now we're back to regular vegetable oil I also picked up a box of instant yeast some people will call this baker's yeast you get four packs in here four sachets in here all of 11 grams and the brand is Bruggerman <laughs> that's a funny name <laughs> that's a funny name but anyway this is what it looks like y'all know I don't really do like seasonings like this like pack seasonings and stuff I don't really do these things I only buy peppers like this like, like I'll buy paprika like those type of things and only fresh herbs is, or dried herbs is what I usually buy but, but like the actual seasonings like these I don't usually buy these things but I, w I figured I was feeling for <laughs> I figured I could just try you know I don't really buy these things because of the added stuff that's in them but if you do it once in a blue moon, it's going to be okay. Anyway, I picked up this Mr. Chef Chili Flakes because I'm all out of chili flakes. Uh, Bees, the first time I'm seeing this brand, by the way, Bees Lemon Pepper. I wanted to try lemon pepper chicken. This is what it looks like. And I don't eat pepper. <laughs> Y'all know this, and everything I picked up here is pepper. So I don't know what's happening with me, but it's the spices that I'm that I'm feeling for the the particular flavor of the spice is what I'm feeling for, but not the actual burn of the spices. <laughs> if y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I also picked up this Mr. Chef Cajun pepper and herb blend. This is what it looks like. Y'all, please excuse my nails. I guess by the time you guys see this video, which will be on Thursday, I would have probably already redid my nails. So next time y'all see me again, it will look good. I also picked up this Swiss mustard with honey. Picked up the bottle this time because I figured it would be easier to just buy the packs and fill it, refill it. This is eight ounces, so just like a cup which is something that I don't use heavily so it's fine I also picked up another pack of Simaj organic dried sorrel this is hibiscus flower for those of you who do not know with a fruity zing they say and it also has like the the spices included like the bay leaf and stuff in, um, included in there and this is a bit of a bigger pack, four ounces. Because the last time I was looking, um, around Christmas time when I was looking for this, I couldn't find the big one. I only found the small ones. But so now I got the actual size I was looking for, four ounces. So this is what it looks like. I've been really enjoying soil just lately, y'all. And because like it's a flower, it's technically a tea. So I feel like I'm drinking iced tea and not drinking something unhealthy, if that makes sense. So this is new for me. If you are not new around here, then you know that this is new for me. If you're used to watching my grocery hauls, you know you've never seen this before in my grocery haul. This is the Chocolisto Crunchy powder mixed with malt, cocoa, vitamins, and minerals. And this is the bigger pack. I think this is the largest pack that I saw there, 200 grams. This is what it looks like. Y'all, I was in the supermarket like um, last week or something like that in True Value, in, Tr in um, Trin City Mall. Yes, it was last week when I went to um, Pennywise. Uh, and I saw someone came and picked up this she, like she grabbed it like for the dear life you know she picked it off of the shelf and i was like 
it piqued my curiosity. Like the vibe that she was giving off of picking it up from the shelf. <laughs> All right, so I was like, okay, let me try. I, I picked up a small pack and I decided to try it. Y'all, this tastes nicer than Milo, or maybe it tastes about the same. Haven't eaten Milo in a while. But this, I think, tastes nicer than Milo because of the malt in it. Y'all, look. Mm, and y'all know, like, smalter, malt, chocolate malt. You're getting my vibe. I like malt. <laughs> so, yeah, I bought it. I bought a small pack just to, just to try it out. And, oh, my gosh, it was so good. So, I had to pick up the big pack this time, of course, naturally. So, yeah. Here it is. This is new to my grocery items. <laughs> I also picked up a 4.4 pound or 2 kg pack of hibiscus all purpose flour. This is what it looks like. For my bread machine bread, I haven't figured out a gluten free way to do it in the bread machine yet. That is that actually turns out like. That actually makes me want to eat the bread. So for now, all-purpose flour it is. Caribbean flavors green seasoning with lime for fish and seafood. Yo, Caribbean flavors is the jam. I'm just letting y'all know. If you're looking for, if you don't want to make your own green seasoning and you want to buy a store-bought one, Caribbean flavors they 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 really do it. I mean, I've bought a couple other brands that look really amazing as well, but this one I. I can attest to. This is, I think, five pounds. Yeah, five pounds. I was right. It's five pounds of loose brown sugar. Sugar lasts me a long time, you guys. This is the final thing that I picked up. They had a buy one, get one free special on this crunchy peanut butter. Now, I do not like crunchy peanut butter. I like smooth peanut butter. However, in smoothies, it's not going to be a problem. But if I want if I want to eat it like on bread and stuff, it's going to be a problem for me. But it was buy one, get one free. Y'all know me. I'm not going to turn that down. <laughs> so this is 232 ounce um, peanut butter by the brand Swiss and the price will be on the screen. And yeah, you guys, that is everything that I picked up at Extra Foods today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, click that notification bell, leave any of your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.